Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Kyle and welcome back to the channel. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I am super excited for Black Ops 4, especially with classified announcement. Four zombies maps at launch. The Ultimates crew, Rigtoff and Dempsey, Nikolai and Takio all together at the Pentagon. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why they're there, but I am super excited to play that map. And Blood of the Dead and all other maps coming in Black Ops 4 zombies. But I mean, it hits me straight in the face. I can't avoid it. There are a lot of issues, a lot of hurdles that they may have to jump through for this game to be successful. So here's the top five problems that Black Ops 4 could face coming out this fall. Let's get straight into the video. Now starting off today's list at the number five spot, I'm going to keep it short and sweet because I kind of made a whole video on it earlier and it's just competition with other games. You know, for me personally, my budget was I'm going to get Black Ops 4 100 bucks, you know, I got to have all the zombies maps and then I'm going to get either like Red Dead or Spider-Man or maybe both or maybe one of those like further down the line, you know, from like a grandma or aunt or uncle from Christmas, like further on down, I'll get one of those. I don't need it immediately, something like that. But now there's Fallout 76. Games like that, that's like, well, never mind. Now I'm probably just going to get Black Ops 4 and Fallout. And that's it for a while. I don't have time to play these other games. I just won't. For all the content I'm going to try to create for you guys for Black Ops 4, I'm not going to have time. I know other people have situations like that. Maybe not YouTube situations where they have to make so much content. But even with YouTubers, yeah, or even just general public, you know, just people playing their games. With games like Fallout and even Fortnite by that point could still be popular. And Red Dead, like... What do you think they're going to play? I mean, Call of Duty, it comes out every year. Most people don't really care that it's Treyarch. I mean, I hate to say that. I love Treyarch, but a lot of people are just like, oh yeah, a Call of Duty. Now, a lot of people are still going to get it. They're still going to make a lot of money. Yeah, but they're going to face that competition, and it's going to be hard, and it could really hurt the game. So, it comes in at number five. I kind of made a whole video on it earlier, but it's one point. I just, I had to say it. So, it comes in at number five. Now, coming in at number four is not something we really know or know not about. You know, I'm not certain, but... I think it's going to be really hard for most people to not have a narrative, a story to follow. Now, I know there's no traditional campaign. I said this wasn't set in stone because there could obviously be something like Nightmares. You know, not Nightmares. That that was pretty bad. Something really good like that, like a mini storyline, kind of like Battlefield did with different stories like that. There could be something like that. I don't know. But with the zombie storyline, it's very complicated. Okay, we kind of make it up as we go along. The community kind of made it. A lot of people aren't going to want to hop into that at the very end unless they extremely love the new maps and the old experiences that they're bringing back. Unless they just love this to death, they're not going to want to study all the timelines and the universes and the apothecons and the time travel and the ultimates and the premise and everything that's going on in the entire zombie storyline. They're going to be kind of confused and they won't really have something they can keep up with if they're not invested in zombies. Because it takes a lot to love zombies and to love that storyline. You really have to research, you have to figure out what you're doing, easter eggs, you have to work hard to get that. So, I don't know, I mean, I think other people, I mean, it's not that hard, people could do it if they wanted to. But I think if you're not already invested in zombies, you're not going to become so into it that you just want to learn everything. And there's not going to be that narrative story other than the zombie storyline for them to follow, which... I don't really like, I mean, I love zombies, but I know a lot of people are going to be like, well, I mean, and I want to follow another storyline, not the zombie storyline, you know, that's too, like, sci-fi out there, but I don't know, I think that could kind of suck for them, so it, it comes in at number four, but I mean, I'm happy with the zombie storyline, but I know that people want a campaign or just some kind of storyline they can follow, so it comes in at number four. Now, number three is a problem that was really begun in Black Ops 3, which I absolutely hated, and that's remasters. Now don't get me wrong, Zombies Chronicles was an incredible DLC. It brought the OG old Zombies community in the new Zombies era together and that was awesome. But their problem is, they don't have any originality anymore in Black Ops 3. They don't. I hate to say it, but Black Ops 3 is completely unoriginal. I, I, I really hate to say that, but I mean, I guess it's original, but it's not, it's their stuff, but it's not like, I mean, come on, it's just old textures, it's just old guns brought back there is like every single popular note like notable gun you can think of from any Treyarch game is in Black Ops 3 you know except for the commando out of all the guns they wouldn't bring it back and that's my favorite gun man I want that back so bad but I mean I just hated that I hated how they brought back every single weapon stuff like that and a bunch of maps like I don't like that I don't want a game with only remasters I want to leave the past in the past and yes every once in a while every two or three games remaster it man it, I mean that's awesome but Nuketown 4 
five like we don't need another nuke town it was great in black ops 1 black ops 2 it's like all right all right black ops 3 is like this is a little much but another one really we don't need old guns we don't need a galeo again we don't need a nuke town just leave it in the past it can't be iconic if you drag it out i just i really hate that stuff i hate the remaster for everything i want this game to be original make new iconic weapons new iconic maps i can't name a single weapon from black ops 3 that they're gonna want to remaster that's just as as iconic as the galil or the commando or the an94 in black ops like 6 if they make it like there's nothing like that because all they did was focus on the past i want them to forget the past kill it if they have to no kyler i didn't mean to do that but that was pretty good and move on make more iconic stuff not just hold on to what you made before I, I don't like that i really hope they don't remaster like everything a few stuff is fine like blood of the dead i love that but that hasn't been remastered since black ops 2 i don't want them to remaster everything and just go over the top where it's completely unoriginal so it comes in at number three well number two is something that is pretty unavoidable for black ops 4 and it's blackout blackout's gonna be an issue now i don't know if it's gonna be good it could be iconic it could be amazing it could be what carries took um try out call of duty to the next level but it could also be trash i can see it going either way and the but the main problem is it will never stand alone it will always be compared to fortnite and pubg always it will always be compared to those then one thing they cannot do the one biggest flaw they can make with blackout is microtransactions people will always compare it and go why would i pay 20 bucks for a loot box for a microtransaction in blackout when i could pay 20 bucks and get two skins and an emote in a better in a better battle royale mode in fortnite that's gonna be the problem though i don't know how much it's gonna be i don't know if it's gonna be loot boxes or just like a item shop like they do in fortnite i don't know how it's gonna be i really don't but that's the problem i can see them doing I, activision's really greedy treyarch is an incredible developer but they have uh activision as their publisher and they are pretty great most of the time, but they're, I mean, they're really greedy. You know, all the big publishers like Activision and EA, they get greedy, and a lot of times they can ruin great developers like DICE and Bethesda's game. I mean, not Bethesda, I mean, Treyarch games like that with stuff like that. And I really hope they don't charge insane amounts for micro injections. Honestly, I hope there isn't any. I hope it's somehow in, like, packs you buy or it's in the season pass or you earn it or you earn skins, you earn emotes, you earn this. I don't know. I don't know how it's going to work, but it'll always be compared to Fortnite. And if they do microtransactions the same way Fortnite did, why would you do that if you can do the same thing for a game that's free for a game that's 100 bucks if you bought all of it and 60 bucks if you bought the standard version? It, it doesn't make sense. It'll always be compared to Fortnite, and that's going to bring it down. So it comes in at number two. Now, coming in at the number one spot, the number one problem Black Ops 4 pretty much always will have now coming at the number one spot, the one thing that's almost guaranteed in Black Ops 4 is a split and divided community. Now the problem is, they're offering so much special stuff like, oh get the Black Ops Pass, you'll get classified, you'll get 5 remastered, and it's like, what if I don't want to spend 100 bucks on a game? What if I just want to spend 60 and get the new Call of Duty? Oh, well, that's fine, but you don't you don't get that map. You can't play with your friends. You know, there's going to be people like me that are going to get it like, no matter what. And then you're going to play with your friends that are just kind of like, playing casually. They just like gaming. They want to play some COD. And they won't have it. They won't have it. And you want to play it. Or say you have three guys. It's it's a terrible feeling. I remember when you have three guys like, dude, let's go play. Let's say Mob of Dead. And you're like, oh, I, I only have transit. I, I only have transit and it oh um, it's it's terrible it's terrible they can't do this now i get that you have to pay for the maps i get that but when there's special editions like that like why would you put a map in something that's 40 bucks people are just paying for the map with the black ops pass just to get classified they're paying 40 bucks for one map all the other stuff like a lot of people are trying to get multiplayer maps too and there's going to be stuff where you're in a lobby you're in a server and you're playing and then you hop in you hop in and like they're like oh yeah we're gonna play this map now everybody votes for it and then you're like oh not everyone has this map and you have to be the one to you have to get out of there and you can't play with those people maybe you made friends with them maybe you're talking to them you're having a good time but nope you just went to a dlc map and now you have to leave it's gonna be terrible if it's like that you know this call of duty has always been, always been like that and i just really hate it i hate having a split community where they can't all play together games that have been really great and iconic recently like fortnite and overwatch everyone can play 
Now Overwatch is a little different because it's competitive and obviously for your own good they don't want you playing with a Masters when you're a gold player that would not go well. But on quick play in arcade you can play with them whatever you want. And in Fortnite you can play with whoever. I hate the black up system work. It'll split the community and that's really going to hurt the game. So it comes in at number one. Well guys, that is today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, feel free to hit the like button down below. And before I end it, I'm going to give a quick shout out to DF Power Up. He is at 39 subscribers right now at the time I'm looking at it. Um, yeah, go sub to him. Get him to 40. Get him to 50, man. He deserves it. Go sub to him. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out, and God bless.